Coming into the competition, I said some niggas, some little um, cramps, I was kind of scared. And then on my first attempt, I jumped 16.99, which of course it's still a good jump, but it's not my best jump. So I wanted more, so my coach said, okay, back up a foot on your approach. And I did that. He said, remain smooth, remain, let the jaws remain floppy, and, and push the back of my approach. And I did just that. And 17.7 was the mark. 17-17, were you expecting that mark? I know you, you will have it in you, but were you expecting that tonight? I was expecting something big. I was feeling pumped even last night. I couldn't even sleep, but I'm just so excited that God put me in a position where I could just show the world and put a bright smile on somebody's face, you know? We call it youthful exuberance in Jamaica. Right. Uh, you're having fun at these championships? Mm -hmm. Savoring every moment, not thinking about the competition too much, just enjoying myself and just remain faithful. I remain excited. Thank you, Jaden, and all the best. All right. Jay, just curious, did you did you imagine maybe three, four years ago that you would be here at the World Championships with the potential to win a gold medal? No. Well, three years ago I was doing the sprints, which I wasn't so good in, so I wasn't thinking about that. But overall, like right now, I'm even more pumped up, but tone it down a little, just a little. For the finals on Monday. What kind of confidence did the Monaco competition give you coming into now? You just have to <clears throat> turn up on the day. Like it's what you do on the day. It's not what about a PR two months ago or a world lead. It's just how do you execute on the day? You know the weather conditions, the crowd, the adrenaline, the sleep you get the last night, food you eat, all those little factors can affect it. So we are humans we've been competing from January. I've been competing around January and I'm still here jumping consistently and just truly grateful for the opportunity to be here, of course. What happened to get you to switch from sprints to triple jump? What I saw a dude doing triple jumping training and then I told the coach that I wanted to try and he said come Monday at 5 o'clock. How did you end up in Arkansas? Oh, um, my coach in Jamaica and the coach in Arkansas are really good friends and their program is similar So I think that was the best route for me for the transition and all that. Did you have a favorite Jamaican athlete growing up? Uh, I always looked up to Rashid Broadbell and the Usain Bolt. Like, yeah. What is your earliest memory of Usain Bolt? Because you were born after he started competing. <laughs> What's your earliest memory of watching Bolt? Um, when he lost the Gatling, I think. 2017. Yeah. I don't remember, but I know that's, that's when I like really remember them because you know the media was firing about all the drama and all that. Do you like to cook? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. What do you cook in Arkansas? I like to cook anything curried, but of course I have to extend my palate. 